The thought of staying with your loved ones 24 by 7 was exciting at the start, but as time is passing by, it's turning out to be very toxic for a lot of people. Financial insecurity, unequal division of work, less excitement, more boredom is causing a lot of strain on relationships, be it couples, parents, in-laws or even kids. So joining me today on the show, CT Cares, we have Sridhar, who is a counseling psychologist as well as the founder of Sridhar Life School to tell us how counseling can get you through in the tough period. Sridhar, great to have you with us on CT Cares. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, it's great to be here. Well, for those of you who don't know, Sridhar actually runs a very popular social media page called Sridhar Life School, where he offers great tips on parenting or relationships. So Sridhar, to begin with, how busy have you been in this lockdown period, <laughs> counseling parents, partners, people in general during the pandemic? Yeah, yeah. well, very busy, but not too busy because that's like a personal choice that I have. I oh. know that the workload that I have is kind of unlimited right now. But I still uh, make sure to keep my own sanity and make sure that I, I have my own balance. So that way, uh, it's like, it's a good time to be a mental health professional, like ironically. All right. The reports are indicating that divorce queries gone up. There is yeah. a lot of child case custody cases that are coming up too. While a lot of people are celebrating baby boom, there are also a few looking at a divorce boom, so to say. So yeah. do you think that there are there has been a spike in the number of queries who are looking for counseling? So yes, uh, overall queries are going up. And yes, you're right, because the, this is like uh, people have not adapted to situations like this. And for humans, uh, like when they feel the things are out of control, when it's a new environment, it can take a toll. If you're not resilient enough, you don't know how to adapt, uh, how to look at it uh, in a functional manner. So that's what's happening with people. They don't know what kind of life is this. Like this is happening for the first time for everybody. It's like the last pandemic happened 100 years back. Uh, that explains uh, all, all of those statistics going up. So Sridhar, while there has been a lot of yeah. strain on finances for people, you know, a lot of them losing jobs. I just want to get a sense of what are the kind of queries are you getting? Is it more couples reaching out to you? Is it more parenting issues? Um, what are the kind of concerns or depression? What are the kind of concerns that people are going through in today's day and age? My focus is usually on, or let's just say my specialties in our organization is on parenting and relationships. Uh, and of course, uh, individual issues like uh, anxiety, depression, and uh, anger management also. So uh, a few changes because of the pandemic I've of course seen is the prob some problems have changed. For example, one of the biggest one is uh, parents dealing with children at home all the time. They are not used to that much interaction with children. They used to have their free time when children were away. Now they don't have that. The same with couples. They used to have so much space like when the husband went out or the wife went out and both of them went out and came back together. But now they don't have that. Most of them are working from home and they're just, they just don't know how to uh, actually be excited looking at each other's faces for that long. <laughs> so uh, it's just pandemic sure has changed some problems, but uh, to be fair, uh, it, it has only exaggerated problems that existed before. And Sridhar, has the strain only been on couples, but also families at large, you know, be it parents, in-laws, extended families. What do you think are the, are the key causes for this, so to say? For families, uh, I would say that there has actually been a great upside also, because uh, as we saw, at least in the initial time of the lockdown and even later on, because people now have more time on their hands, uh, some people because of the work from home situation and they cannot really go out. So they are kind of connecting virtually. And when they're connecting virtually, they are going everywhere and families are coming together and they are celebrating together virtually also so in parenting for parents. I definitely have seen, of course, with the screen time, that's a big one. Uh, there's a huge uh, problem because of the online education now. That's one. And then, of course, relationships like we just talked and personal problems are definitely they have increased. For example, people feeling more hopeless, more anxious about the future. And uh, so many people just uh, now out of livelihood. So that completely destroys uh, their sense of well-being and even the uh, family happiness also. So, yeah, those are the things that uh, that have really kind of strained families. It's interesting that you bring this up. Uh, you mentioned about out of livelihood and there has been a lot of financial insecurities that a lot of people are going through. Uh, what is it that 
they could do or any advice that you would like to offer to those who are going through a tough time when it comes to finances first suggestion would be ultimately you have to feel very stable inside you have to maintain your finances if you have to downgrade your lifestyle there's no problem with that so that's one another would be like if couples are facing those problems then i would say uh, you have to have absolute financial clarity and you have to have you you might have to talk down to the pennies it's nothing petty about it it's very important for the family yeah okay now shridhar while a lot of us may be going through some issues if you can give us a perspective of how does counseling help because it's been good 7 to 8 months people have been locked up in their homes are close to a breaking point what is it that you would like to recommend to them the first one is of course when you go to a good counselor so if you go to a good counselor the first thing is if first you get a space where you can just be yourself you can talk and it's just about yourself right and uh, you're not going to be judged and somebody is there to listen to you so that's one and that's very important because you don't usually get that otherwise so counselor helps you prioritize things they help you define things a good counselor would actually help you get to the root cause of the problems as well like where is it all coming from and where is the real problem so that's a very good help that you can get from counseling and if i could say one line which defines counseling the most which would be just a new way of looking at things in the world and if you can do that you can transform your life so a good counselor would help you like that what is the process really shridhar how do you understand people's emotions because everybody is right in their own place hmm if i if i could simplify this it actually comes down to your belief systems my as a counselor my goal would be to first uh, help the client or help the person a uh, look at that criticism differently like how can you look at it differently that it does not lead to anger anymore so uh, it's the question is not of right and wrong the question is what leads to what so if you look at it a then it can lead to anger if you look at it in a manner b it can lead to some other emotion so it's up to you what emotion do you want in life do you want happiness or anger that that's an interesting perspective there uh shida the other thing that i really want to understand is social life has been a big part of everyone's life and especially on curry tales we all love going out but things are moving very slowly restaurants yeah. are not opening people are actually having very limited social life what kind of an impact can that have on people's mental health oh great actually that's uh, because we are wired socially and we do have an like this is one of our fundamental needs the social integration part so if i say uh, one of the biggest drawbacks of uh, the lifestyle that we have right now is that one only where you can't really go out so it's a it's an absolute uh, absolutely unfortunate state right now and this is why uh, again we can go to the best the closest safest replacements which is uh, the virtual one obviously uh, the more you can do it the better uh, whether you are meeting two people or three people or virtually ultimately the pleasure or uh, the happiness that you get out of it depends on you so there are people who were unhappy even when there was no pan- pandemic and there are people who are happy even while this is going on so the final control does lie with you okay uh, the other thing that you pointed out was about kids and how online schooling has made it extremely tough for kids you know the attention span is less kids are often irritated and bored and i can speak with experience because i have a 6 7 year old <laughs> So how does one deal yeah. with that and you know how can one make productive use of this period where kids are spending a lot of time at home So I briefly want to flip the question I I want to ask you first like how do you deal with it uh, so, so let's understand uh, <laughs> what do you do Well honestly I've never she's never had so many classes before which is outside of school but at the unfortunate bit is that they are all online so she's doing a piano class she has a dance class which involves some bit of physical activity she also has an art class and then she and I would go down and play uh, badminton sometimes even for kids it's super important that uh, they meet people and they meet friends and uh, they uh, evolve socially in those cases uh, you can you continue to need to monitor a little bit but not too much because this is a very important thing you cannot fully give up okay you know what i i won't care because then if you leave the child completely unsupervised they can uh, actually run into uh, real behavioral issues also so the middle ground would be you stay involved like you stay involved you keep asking the child what did you do what did you study and uh, so that you know what's going on you have to keep checking them okay and what what about couples what is it that you would like to recommend to couples okay. so the my main motto for myself and for my relationship also wherever there is a problem you sit down and you come to some agreement you talk about it from every angle address every concern so that 
next time it comes you deal with, deal with it slightly better and that's how you improve your life so we would like to know how does a psychologist really unwind shridhar do you like traveling do you like eating out mm. so uh, like in my childhood i traveled a lot uh, because of my parents and then there was a huge gap for me and mm-hmm. now in past 3 years now i'm in a relationship now my girlfriend is a huge traveler so she pushes me to travel and now i'm enjoying it again so now i've been traveling a lot so yes and now there is travel and i'll and when i travel i love food also i love trying different cuisines so that's one of my things in fact i spend a lot of time researching uh, mm-hmm. the best cafes or restaurants or joints where i can taste the local food so mm-hmm. so i am a huge enthusiast for trying different cuisines and after yeah. all the issues that you hear about from your uh, you know the people who sign up for counseling how much does the negativity affect you and is there a way where you disconnect yourself with everything that you hear okay not at all actually so that is not an issue that i have ever had my issue would be if i have any would be if i take too many sessions i would be physically tired right so yeah. so getting physically exhausted has been my issue not mentally at all for me it's more like puzzles also is or finding a way problem solving so that actually stimulates me so that does not tire me i can do that indefinitely okay and shreya for anybody who is now going through a tough time how does one get in touch with you oh so uh, you can simply go to our website uh, shreethalifeschool.com mm-hmm. and there you can we have the application forms there and so you can just fill that and we have our email there and they can check out my channels in each channel uh, on my youtube channel shreethal life school uh, and in each youtube description there are all the links so you can go either way so on youtube or directly just on my website so yeah people will contact me like that all right yeah. so for everyone who's watching guys there is hope please don't give up and do consider counseling before taking any extreme steps shridhar lovely talking to you thank you so much for taking out the time and sharing an interesting perspective with us and i'm sure you know you have motivated a lot of people to reach out to mm-hmm. psychologists or counselors and seek a solution instead of just giving in Hmm. No, thank you so much for this conversation, and I'm so glad that you took the time to actually talk about these things. And I'm glad that we are having these conversations. More people will be reaching through your uh, channel, and yes, these these ideas need to go out. And I'm so happy that you're doing this. Uh, yeah, so kudos to you as well. Thank you so much. Lovely talking to you. Thank you. Yeah, great talking to you as well.